Hi there, my name is John Vincible, and this is StemWire, the weekly webcast bringing you the latest STEM-related news stories from around the world. First up is rumors that LG is teaming up with Google again to bring us a follow-up to the popular Nexus 4 handset, as well as an OLED TV. The two company executives reportedly met for over an hour to discuss new ways to improve their business partnership, as well as new products. We don't know too much about the OLED TV or the follow-up to the Nexus 4 handset, but I'm personally really interested in the Nexus 4 follow-up. When it came out, the Google Nexus 4 was praised by many reviewers as one of the best smartphones on the planet, and definitely one of the best smartphones on the planet for the price point. For $350 for the 16 gigabyte Nexus 4, you could get a non-contract phone for a subsidized price. Unfortunately, I was still locked into a contract when the Nexus 4 came out, but my contract will be up when the Nexus 4 follow-up arrives, and I will probably buy it. The follow-up to the Nexus 4 is rumored to be unveiled at the Google I.O. event on May 15th, have a 32 gigabyte option, and also be LTE capable. Our next story are for those of you who aren't astronauts and would like to go to space. More than 500 people have already signed up for the private space space tours offered by Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. This past Monday, their test spacecraft sustained its first powered flight and broke the sound barrier. When the spaceship is done testing, Richard Branson hopes to take his children and himself on the maiden voyage, hopefully around the end of the year, if not early next year. Richard Branson founded this company eight and a half years ago, and he hired the designer of the Spaceship One, which was the first privately financed spaceship, to design his spaceship, which he's cleverly titled Spaceship Two. You can buy yourself a ticket on this larger six-passenger Spaceship Two for the low, low price of $200,000. Branson had hoped to start commercial flights as far back as 2007, but he's seen considerable delays, not the least of which was a propulsion test gone wrong that killed three workers. Since then, they had only been testing the ship as a glider, but Monday's propulsion test was a big milestone for them, so you could be going to space sometime in the next couple years if you've got a lot of money. Next up is the Call of Duty Ghosts teaser trailer that Activision has just released. You can see the trailer for yourself by clicking the annotation that's on screen or the link in the description below. This is a live action teaser trailer and it shows several masked warriors as a narrator talks about masked warriors warriors and why people wear masks as the warriors appear in a bombed out urban environment. It ends on what looks like special ops dudes silhouetted against that background and one of them pulls a mask over his face that looks a lot like the masks that Ghost wore in Modern Warfare 2. It then ends with a message at the bottom that says the actual reveal will coincide with the reveal of the next generation Xbox on May 21st. Now this is a teaser trailer, it's just meant to get us excited and pumped and wondering and questioning and talking about what the new Call of Duty might be about. It's obviously going to be about these ghost soldiers, but as far as a time period, what it's going to be about is it a pre to Modern Warfare? Is it a spin-off? Does it take place after? We have no idea. What do you guys think about this reveal trailer? Are you Call of Duty fans? Have you played it in the past? Have you played it and given up? Do you still play it? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. Our last story is also video game related and it's the newest trailer for Grand Theft Auto 5. Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 5 will be released on September 17th, 2013 and I'm personally really looking forward to this one too. There'll be an annotation on screen and a link below if you want to see this newest trailer for yourself. But basically it follows the three main protagonists and gives you a little background on what each of their stories are. If you guys didn't know, Rockstar has already stated that at any time in the single player campaign, you'll be able to switch between these three main characters. Not only does the new trailer show you how vastly different their backstories are, it also hints that the gameplay between the three characters is going to be very different as well. I've been a Grand Theft Auto fan for a long time now, and this newest one looks really great. It looks like a Michael Bay film or a Fast and the Furious film on steroids. Now, since the release of Grand Theft Auto 4, Rockstar has faced competition from series like Saints Row, which don't get me wrong, are very fun in their own right, but what Rockstar does so well in their games is making you as a player feel enveloped in this world that they've created. And that's one thing that they show off really well in this new trailer is how fleshed out and how much it looks like there is to do in this world. Now, what did you guys think of the trailer? Did you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to this game? Let us know in the comments. And that's it for all the latest STEM related news stories this week. If you guys liked it, be sure to press that like button. And if you'd like to see future episodes, please subscribe. My name is John Vincible and I will see you guys next Friday for another episode of STEMWire. <laughs>